Hey, what's good family? In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Tesla charts, where it could possibly go for earnings. Uh, we're even going to jump in and take a look at uh, how Tesla has previously behaved for earnings in hopes of getting some idea of what could possibly go on this time. All right, so here we are. We are on Moomoo's website and right here we are looking at the financials for Tesla. Tesla has its earnings on Tuesday, July the 23rd. Here are the earnings estimates. 24.7 billion in revenue, down 0.93% year over year, 49 cents per share, down over 37% on the year, and the average analyst rating is sitting at hold. Uh, coming over here, looking at the analyst price targets, analysts have a maximum price target of $310 for Tesla. Average is chilling around 206.40, and the minimum I would love to see Tesla trading at this minimum so I could scoop up some more is down here at 115. All right, going on, looking at how Tesla has performed over its past three earnings, it has failed to hit all three of its past three earnings. Uh, right here, they were expected to do 24.14 billion. They did 23.35. In Q4 of 2023, they were expected to do 25.76 billion. They did 25.16 and in Q1 of this year, they were expected to do 22.25 billion, but they did 21.3 billion. Now going on to look at the charts to see if we can piece this information together. Looking at Tesla, we are looking at Tesla on the daily chart. So each one of these candles represents one day. And all of these E's represents earnings dates for Tesla. So if we look at the last three, what we just got the data from on Mumo, we know that Tesla missed all three of its last earnings. So the first one, Tesla was trading at 250 and they dropped down to 215 the next day. So they missed earnings and they suffered a huge drop. The next earnings was right here. Uh, they they were trading around $210. They missed earnings. And by the end of the next day, they had dropped to $180. And last but not least, they still missed earnings, but I guess they didn't miss it anywhere near as bad as what everyone had expected. A few days before their earnings, they did come down close to this trend line. But the day of their earnings, they were trading around 145. And then the next day, they gapped up to 156 and closed the day out at 160. And then they even had a crazy run up to 197 and pretty much consolidated up until a couple weeks ago. So looking over here, Tesla is expecting to hit 49 cents per share right here do 24.69 billion in revenue. Chances are they will miss that and that's already factored in. So these earnings will be interesting as long as things look like they are once again on an upward trajectory and it looks like things aren't as bad as they were. Tesla should see a pop if Tesla shows progress. If Tesla doesn't show progress, they could definitely trade their way back on down into this channel or if tesla does even worse than expected they could make their way back down and make some new lows but now that we know how tesla's earnings has gone uh, now let's see if we can figure out some possible things that tesla will do all right so looking at tesla on the daily chart tesla was respecting this channel for a while ever since july of 2023 tesla has been trading in this channel and up until recently uh early july this month tesla was trading in this range and this line that has been serving as resistance as of right now is we we are looking at it as our level of support so looking at tesla right now there are some things that tesla can do uh, coming into earnings first thing you want to do is analyze what kind of trends we have going analyze your supply and demands and uh, really just see what can happen all right so looking at the four hour chart Tesla has a demand zone down here, which means if Tesla comes down here to this 209 level, Tesla could see a lot of buying pressure should it come down to this 209 to $210 area. So no, there's a demand zone down here. Uh, we have trend line support right here, uh, heading into earnings. That's around about 225. So just know right here, if Tesla comes here, uh, it's going to have a little bit of trouble getting below this. So 
for me, if I were looking for upside going into earnings, which I'm not since I don't really play earnings, I would start looking to buy right here at this 225 area. If I'm looking for downside or anything like that, uh, Tesla has kind of been respecting this trend line on the four hour as well as the one hour. So I would look at this trend line right here as we come down into earnings. Uh, looks like anywhere from this like 256 to about 252, anywhere in this range. If I were going to grab some put, look to short Tesla, which I personally would not. I would grab it in this 250 area. So right here, just drawing kind of like hard lines. Got resistance up here about 252. Support is going to be this trend line, but I'm going to draw support right here at 225. For me, this is going to be the trading range for Tesla. Tesla very well could just sit here, pin, trade sideways till earnings. It could not move for earnings, make a big move up, make a big move down, anything like that. But for me, if I had to draw a buy zone, the buy zone is going to be the bottom half of this area. Here, we'll make that green. And if I were looking to short, I'm looking at this area right here, and we'll make that red. And I personally don't think I can make it any simpler. Now that we have our sell zones, buy zones, trend lines and everything, uh, one last thing I want to do is talk about if it breaks out past these lines, where could it go? All right, so looking at the daily chart, should Tesla break out above this 250 area? I think it's going to want to Test this 260 area, 270, test this 280 area. It's going to ultimately end up making its way up here to 300 and try to take that out. And should things not go so well for Tesla, I think it's coming to fill this gap right here. So maybe coming in, tapping into this demand zone, and then after it taps into the demand zone, it might retest the trend line and ultimately try to make its way up again. So I want you to remember I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. It's very difficult to make sense of earnings, but when I try to play earnings, this is how I am looking at the charts. This is what I'm doing. This is how I'm picking my targets. If I'm looking for lotto calls, I'm usually looking to buy in extremes. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, be sure to smash the like button. If for some reason you're new here and haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And last, but certainly not least, Thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life. And at the time of this recording, Mumu is giving away up to 15 free stocks when you open an account and make a deposit, when you sign up using a referral link down below in the description or using this QR code right here.